Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. Uh, welcome to another lesson here on this channel. Uh, this lesson, uh, do you, I want to do something a little bit different. I just want to walk you through the fundamentals of Adobe Media Encoder. I'm working in Adobe Media Encoder 2023. Honestly, all this stuff has been the same for like the past eight years. Uh, I think that's about how long I've been using um, Encoder and Premiere. been using After Effects for 14 years if I'm doing my math correct so been at this uh quite a while and honestly it, it's um this is a great tool but it, it doesn't make a lot of sense intuitively so just want to walk you through the couple things that you need to know if you're going to be editing videos or just you know kind of messing around with some files here in media encoder so um Media Encoder, it is a standalone app. Uh, a lot of you will access it through Premiere or After Effects by sending your videos over to here. Uh, also, you can just open up the app and throw a file in here, which is what we're going to work through, um, and uh, re-encode it or, you know, encode it um, as whatever you really want it to. So here's, you know, the basics. Right here is your cue. This is really all you need to focus on. This little window right here, Q. I know my video is covering up this little presets browser. I have never even touched that in all this time. Uh, never even touched that window. The media browser, you can also use that to find your files. Um, I have, again, never even used that. But over here in your Q, that's what you want. If you don't see it, I'm sure you can go under window and pull up Q. So here, all you got to do is double click in here. That's going to open up a window where you can find your file to import in here to re-encode. So let's just go, uh, let's ignore this for a moment. Okay, uh, I just pulled in some random um, tutorial I have that I made a long time ago. It is an MP4, um, but it doesn't really matter. Maybe you're bringing in a, a QuickTime uh, movie, you know, .mov, or a WAV file that you need to turn into an MB3. That's really common. I do that. I have to do that one a lot uh, for a company that I work for. Um, and you know, you don't really know what to do from here, maybe if you're first starting out. So right here, these, um, this is, um, what, what do we call it? Your, your preset. So um, how you want basically your file to end. So H.264, that is a common um, codec for .mp4. And guys, I'm probably getting some of these vocab words wrong. Um, honestly, in the real world, um, in the corporate world, at least, uh, you know, you just need to get your stuff done. So don't focus too much on my uh, vocab words, getting them all correct here. So um, under here, you can change your preset, H.264. That's going to give you your MP4 that you're looking for for web. Um, that's probably what a lot of you guys want. I know a lot of people work with ProRes um, and also... Um, down here, you might be interested in get, making MP3s or the WAV file, WAV audio. That is really all I ever jump into. I'm sure um, if you're doing other things in here and you got to work with AAC audio or AIFF, um, you probably don't need to be watching this video. Okay, so H.264, that's probably what you want uh, if you're delivering something on the web, on YouTube, Vimeo your clients, whatever. Uh, right here is the preset uh, for, um, this is giving you uh, basically how to formulate the H.264. So is it gonna be super compressed? Is it gonna be just a little bit compressed? Um, all those different things. And then I'll show you how we can mess around with those settings. Honestly, uh, for everything I do on YouTube, uh, I just do this YouTube um, 1080p full HD or uh, the 4K if I'm recording in 4K. Um, but yeah, most of my just normal web delivery stuff, I just stick with uh, the YouTube um, setting basics. There are other ones on here, other presets that you might be interested in. Uh, match source high bitrate, that is another good one. Um, you know, that, that, it's just good. Uh, and you can see, you can save these out. I'll show you that in a second if I remember. Um, and when you save them, um, they show up here at the top of the presets. 
So right here is your output. This is what you're going to call your clip, uh, the file name, and where you want it to go. Uh, by default, I think it goes right back to the same folder. And if it's, uh, and it'll just tack on like an underscore one, uh, probably change that somewhere in the settings. Um, so here, you know, open up this window. Uh, and then if you're on a Windows uh, PC, um, you know, you're, you're looking at, you know, just the Windows version of this, where you can rename it, um, renamed clip for tutorial uh, and then click save clicking save you're not actually doing anything besides setting the name and the destination let's go ahead click save uh, and then uh, all you do you click this little green guy uh, this little play button here and you go before that hold on let me show you one more thing um, not from here, but from in here, I did skip this step. Sorry, I'm just jumping around. I have no notes. I'm just doing this off the cuff. Uh, so click on uh, your preset. And then here, uh, you can do uh, a couple of things. Uh, so this is where you modify the settings. So you can change the output name and location here, just like you know what I did a second ago. Uh, over here, you can click this, and it's going to pop open the same thing. Um, you can, again, you can change the format. That was the word I was looking for earlier. And the preset, uh, you can change that from here as well. Um, and then down here, if you have specific settings that you need to deliver, um, you know, if it's 1080 by 1080, if it's a square video, you can do that here. You can change that. Uh, you can change the... Um, um, you can change anything that, you know, isn't great out here. Um, so, but nine times out of 10, you don't need to mess with anything. Uh, the one thing that you might need to putz around with is down here under bitrate settings. If your video is going to be too big and it gives you this awesome estimated file size down here, you know, 267 megabytes. Let's say I only have 200 megs left on my fr my free uh, one gig frame IO account or two gigs, whatever it is. I can go here. I can change right let's drop down to 12 oh i'm just shy so you can click in there and change that okay 193 awesome if i need to trim a video uh and this is something um you know i do recommend a lot of you know non-editors to do instead of being inside a daunting um Premiere Pro uh, for a you know uh, non-editor down here is basically our whole our whole video and sorry if you're seeing me a bunch of times on screen uh, we can take this little slider here and that's going to trim our video so we don't do the entire thing so if we just want to export just this amount and then uh, we can do that uh, and then you know you can take this little guy and scrub it so you can see your video all right when you're done click OK boom uh, and now one last time go ahead click this little green button Da, da, da. And you saw down here, that's the little encoding window that just gives a preview of what is being done. And now, give me one second, let me go find that video. All right, here we are. Here is my rename clip for tutorial.mp4. Uh, and yeah, that is it, guys. Um, I know I flew through things here in this little um, Adobe Media Encoder, um, you know, what you need to know video. If you have questions, leave them below. I will try my best to answer them. If you like this video, want to see more videos like this one, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, see, if you have any specific questions for stuff, you know, outside of uh, this topic, leave that below too. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on it as well. Uh, hope you're drinking your water. Uh, I need to go do the same and I will see you all around in the next video. Bye.